Good day learners! For today's video, we're gonna talk about monohybrid cross. Monohybrid cross is a one-factor cross. Mendel used monohybrid cross with his experiments with garden pea plants. These are the characteristics of pea plants Grigor Mendel used in his inheritance experiments. The different form and color of seeds, flower, pod, and stem. Mendel predicted the possible genotypes of a particular cross by using a Punnett square, a square diagram used to predict the genotypes of a particular cross. Scientists really find ways to make things easier and understand things better, and it was Reginald Ponnet, an English geneticist, who devised an easier way to predict genetic crosses. A monohybrid cross is the study of inheritance of one characteristic, such as pea pod color. A Punnett square is a diagram that is used to predict the outcome of a particular cross. The genotype represents the genes of the organism and it is written in two letters. The capital letter represents the dominant allele and the small letter represents the recessive allele. So the dominant yellow pea pod is written as the capital letter Y and the recessive green pea pod is small y. Going back to the Punnett square, if we cross two heterozygous yellow and homozygous green pea pod, we write one parent genotype on top and the second parent genotype on the side. Well, it doesn't matter which pair of parent genotype you put on top or side. Either way, that is correct. Let us now fill in the possible offsprings. I will do the first one for you. Dominant Y and recessive Y gives YY. Can you complete the rest of the Punnett square? Pause the video, try to think, then click play when you are done. Did you get it right? We have two YY genotypes, so 50% of the offspring have dominant yellow pea pods and two YY genotypes, so another 50% of the offspring will have a recessive green pea pods. So we write the phenotypic ratio as this. Let's practice more. In pea plants, yellow seeds are dominant and green seeds are recessive. Cross two heterozygous parents. Since hetero means different and the yellow seed is dominant, we will write capital Y for yellow seed and small letter Y for green seed. One parent genotype on top and one on the side. First box should have homozygous dominant gene with two capital letter Y. On the second box, there should be a heterozygous gene with capital Y and small letter Y. Same as with the third box, heterozygous. And on the last box, there should be a homozygous recessive gene with two small letter Y. As to the genotypic ratio, one homozygous dominant is to two heterozygous dominant is to one homozygous recessive. For the phenotypic ratio, three yellow seed is to one green seed. For the next sample problem, try to answer it by yourself. I will be giving you one minute to answer this problem. Time is up. 
Did you get it right? Let's have some more sample problem. Another one minute for you to answer this problem. Time is up, try to check your answer.